Optimize command in Bricks CAD works either with 2D entities or 3D entities. The application of Optimize command on 2D entities was already dealt with in a video uploaded in Bricks's channel. You may go through that video to get an idea about the various parameters of this command. You can find the link at the upper right corner of this video as well as at the description section. The only 3D entities supported by Optimize command are solids. The command makes corrections such as making faces that are near parallel to orthogonal planes being coplanar to these planes and making faces that belongs to different solids to be coplanar to one another. Let's try Optimize command on the solid entities. The top face of this entity is inclined at an angle of 7 degrees. And these two faces are perfectly aligned with each other. But there is a gap of 10 units between these two faces and 5 units between these two faces. And these faces are at a distance of 5 units. Now let's optimize these entities. I'll give optimize command. Here the mod option is disabled because we have only 3D entities here. You will get a message that two entities selected. Under the entities the entire drawing is selected. Now we have various options for optimization such as make almost coplanar faces coplanar, rectify faces parallel to reference planes, Rectify faces perpendicular to the reference planes. Round coordinates. Here we have three options to choose the reference planes such as XY plane, YZ plane and ZX plane. Each plane refers to the planes of the existing coordinate setup. Angle tolerance sets the angle tolerance in degrees for the relative position of faces and planes. The distance tolerance sets a distance tolerance. The faces within the tolerance will be made coplanar, parallel or perpendicular according to the settings. The rounding precision sets a rounding precision. This option rounds the coordinates to the specified number of digits following the decimal. Now these two faces are selected for optimizing based on the values of parameters specified in the optimize panel. Since the rectify faces parallel to the reference plane is active, the faces which are parallel to the XY plane will be selected. Here the reference plane is chosen as XY plane. But if I click on rectify faces perpendicular to the reference plane, more faces will be selected because these faces are perpendicular to the XY plane. I don't want that. So I'll disable this option. I just want to make this a flat face. So make sure that the value of angle tolerance is more than the slope of this face. You know that slope of this face is 7 degrees and the angle tolerance is 8 degrees. I don't want to change any other face. So make sure that the value of distance tolerance is less than the least distance. Here we have seen the least distance value is 5 centimeter. So I'll give distance tolerance a value which is less than 5. I'll give 3 and I'll preview the result. Now you can see that this face is rectified. And you have got the message that one face is rectified. Now I'll give OK to apply this change. I'll give optimize command again. This time I would like to align these two faces in such a way that the faces will be coplanar. Now there is an offset of 10 cm. When you look at the UCS, you can see that this plane is XZ plane. So you can choose XZ plane. I'll give distance tolerance a value which is about 10. I'll give 11. Now you can see that these two faces are selected. I'll deactivate XY plane and you can preview the change. Now you can see that these two faces are coplanar. I'll click on reset. I also would like to apply the change 
on the xy plane so that these two faces will be coplanar but presently these two faces are not selected I'll give distance tolerance a slightly higher value let it be 15 now these two faces are selected click on preview to see the change now the top faces of these solids are also made coplanar I'll click on OK to apply the change likewise you can optimize in more than one steps to get the desired results let's see another typical example here we have a number of solids when you look at these solids you can see that there is uneven gap between these solids suppose if I want to close all these gaps I can do that using the optimize command here I'll just activate rectify faces perpendicular to the reference planes I'll activate all the reference planes then I'll give a higher value for the distance tolerance I'll give say 25 centimeter then I'll click on preview now the gap between the faces is no longer existing and the faces are coinciding with each other click on reset now I want to align the end faces of these two solids for that I'll click on select entities in the drawing option and I'll select these two solids you can see that these planes are parallel to the YZ plane so I'll disable other two planes I'll also disable rectify faces perpendicular to the reference planes now you can see that these faces are selected then I'll click on preview to see the result now the faces are aligned with the YZ plane I'll click on reset suppose if you want to make these two faces coincident then you should activate the XZ plane then I'll click on preview now these faces are coincident I'll click on OK to apply it hence optimize command can be used on 3D entities to align the faces with the coordinate system plane this concludes the tutorial on the application of optimize command on 3D entities in BricsCAD v22